Okay, so just let's, if you just look at the West Florissant, what West Florissant runs all the way from downtown St. Louis all the way to 270, okay? And it runs out at Halls Ferry. So you have St. Louis City, which crosses over into Jenny, which crosses over into Country Club Hills, then it crosses over into Ferguson, then it from Ferg right, Ferguson is Dalewood, and then on the other side of Dalewood is Ferguson again. Why should I, as a citizen, have to learn all of the ordinances for that entire stretch of, of one street? But you have all these different little governments that govern their little section of the street. And then you expect that I should know all of the ordinances. If you just why? go into the grocery store down exactly. the street. So why can't it all just be St. Louis County? Like St. Louis City is all of St. Louis City. Mm. It's not It's not all of those little municipalities within the county mm -hmm. plus the city. Mm -hmm. That That is so ridiculous to me. And then you say that, you know, we, we can't be ignorant of the law. However, you have so many different laws that we, we're supposed to learn, but why? Why can't we just learn St. Louis County's ordinances, St. Louis City ordinances, and be done with it? And get rid of all of these small pocket municipalities that may only be 12 blocks long, if it's 12 blocks. Because that's ridiculous. Mm. Yeah, and as a citizen, I don't have time to study all that. I, I, you know, but... I mean, the police obviously don't have time to study it either because they don't seem too familiar with the First Amendment, so... And they don't know the ordinances either. Right. Because when we are out here and they say, well, you can't do this, we ask them, well, what ordinance is this? Well, it's loitering. Well, what ordinance is it? I right. asked you the definition of it. I said, what ordinance is Like, what is the actual penal code? And you don't know. Right. You don't know. But then what you'll do is you'll go back into the station and then look it up real quick and then run back over here and give us a paper. Uh -huh. But you don't even know. You don't even know. You just mindlessly followed an order and you don't even uphold the law. You, you So you can't effectively do your job because you don't right. even know the law. Exactly. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I just wish that they would take a look at that and do something about it. I didn't, know, I didn't know that. Like, I thought, I mean, I understood it was like the, the Ferguson Police Department and like, we got like the Oakland Police Department and then like the Alameda County Sheriff's Department. Um, so that is like the county police. But I don't need to like know the differentiation between like Oakland and San Leandro and San Lorenzo and Hayward, even though those are all the same cities in Alameda County. Like, because if you can't make a right on red without a sign and all of them, you know what I mean? Like, it's just across the board right, instead of like, and they're also a lot larger than 12 blocks long. Exactly. You know what I mean? These like, are not. Yeah. You, you see what I just said? Even let's just even look at Ferguson. Let's look at Jennings, Country Club Hills, Ferguson, Dalewood, Ferguson again. Mm -hmm. That's all St. Louis County. Mm -hmm. Okay. All St. Louis. So County. the city is almost like a horseshoe. It wrap around the other. One. The whole entire St. Louis ain't nothing but a wrap around. Uh -huh. You can get from every, from 270, 70 to 44, 55. You can go around this whole city. The whole city. You know, and see everything okay. worth seeing. Okay. You know, so it's nothing but a big old circle, and that's ridiculous. Well, thank you for telling me about that. What can you tell people what your Twitter is so they can follow you if they want to know what's going on in Ferguson? Like sure. she's an actual resident. Y'all know I came down here to help, but if you want to know what's happening, you know she's a person you can follow. You what's your Twitter? Queen B Y J thirty nine. Okay, so that it was at Queen B Y J thirty nine. So yes. make sure you guys uh, find her and follow her. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, baby. How are you? Oh, Thank y'all for tuning in. I just found somebody who has some things that she wanted to say, and I thought that it would do a lot to kind of clarify some of the confusion. Is like how they enforce some of the laws that make absolutely no sense. Did I crack this? Because I feel like it's leaking on me. Yeah, it's ridiculously hot out here, too. So we're going to walk over here real quick so you guys can see, like, it's not a whole bunch of people, but they're out here doing the bike protests. Um, you know, you see a lot of water and stuff under this tree and they're fixing, they're working on bikes um, because they have to stay moving, you know, to access their First Amendment right. I mean, I don't know where they read that at, but uh, apparently that's the thing that the police department is making actually happen. I mean, it's one thing to watch it on the stream. It's another thing to come down here and see that ridiculousness. Like, oh, I can't just like sit and have an opinion. I got to move. Like, <laughs> you know. So um, this is the Ferguson Police Department. Um, I believe they raided the encampment and then they have a whole bunch of like tents and all kind of stuff over there in those dumpsters. 
and then it's right next door to a fire station um people got everything kind of set up a lot of water and food uh you got people sitting here with their protest signs which is amazing there are children out here that don't look violent to me so the next time cnn is talking about violent protesters i i just see kids i see kids and families and that's actually all i saw last night was uh people's children so I haven't exactly been streaming. There aren't a lot of people who want to do an on-camera interview right now, but they are continuing to do the bike protest and they're riding the bikes up and down the street. Um, I've been posting pictures of them fairly regularly and I went down to... Sorry, I'm just going to turn around. I've been posting pictures of them fairly regularly and I went down to the memorial site and took pictures of them as well. They're making buttons um, and different... Uh, paintings and stuff of Mike Brown and they're doing like some uh, stand up spoken word over there by the memorial um, and later on I guess everybody is going to kind of come together over here and um, have like a main protest or something um, I'm not entirely sure but I, like I said I'm just here in a support role and um, going to document as much as I can and I'm going to keep doing that um, so anyway like I said this is the street you'll see there were a lot of people coming honking in support. There were also a lot of police officers pulling in and out of this driveway um, and very closely monitoring the, the very few people that are out here just preparing for you know the rest of the day's events. Um, and also down this street, uh, like two blocks down, there are a lot, like three or four unmarked white vans. Uh, they had police in them. Actually, it looks like they moved, but that's a staging area for them. I'm going to do the finger thing. I remember that. Um, like right there. So later on tonight should be very interesting. Um, hopefully it's quiet. The police have a lot going on because of the shootings. Um, and both of them have absolutely nothing to do with the protests. Except for the fact that like the freeways were blocked off and people couldn't get here. But um, those were not protest uh, scenarios. Nobody involved with the protest. And the officer shooting were, the same, were not the same thing. People are riding by and honking in support. It's pretty amazing. Um, so I'm not going to stay up for long. i got to pay for... Hey, y'all. Uh, um, you know, my data is expensive. It's all outdoors. I do got AT&T, so it's another reason why I'm not streaming right this second unless people want to do uh, live interviews. But I will keep doing the live tweets and uh, posting videos and I will be all charged up and ready for if I have to be, you know. Um, but I love y'all. Thank you for staying tuned. Um, as a matter of fact, I, do you guys have any questions? I'm going to go ahead and flip the phone around and look at the chat stream. If you guys have any questions, I'll go ahead and uh, do the best I can to address those right now.